Hi Cancer, this is your part two from Lunar Moxie Tarot. I am the Benevolent Rebel. This is your part two for the month. I am going to get right into a um, Celtic cross for you guys. Please also join me for the um, All Signs Eclipse reading, which should be up in a couple of days. Um, Tutelary Tales will have its first post by the end of the month or by the first. And um, I will also start posting some weeklies as well. I usually interpret these mainly for singles and then also try and hit on happily coupled as well. Okay, um, this is the love reading, so I will not go through as many scenarios as I go through um, in the general reads. Okay, that said, shall we start? Shall we begin? Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy you guys might be dealing with. I have the Hierophant. You have a major commitment or a major relationship that's significantly important to you on your mind, Cancer. It's my Cancer. You guys have, um, it's going to be wonderful. That eclipse is going to be wonderful. It's going to be perfect for all this stuff. So anyways, I'm sure, um, I'm sure you guys are feeling it and you will feel it when the sun is conjunct the moon. You guys are highly lunar. So um, this could be a Taurus, does not have to be, okay? Sometimes I will find that in these, especially in the Celtic crosses, that a, that a rising sign um, will show up in position one or two. So if you guys um, have a Taurus rising, okay, this could be you. Otherwise, this is representative of higher commitment on the mind, okay? And I have a queen of pentacles with it. Heavy on the earth energy. You're either embodying these energies or have these significantly in your chart, okay? Or are stepping into this role. This is an ultimate, you know, working working mother. Um, does not have to be. Could be a masculine, okay? But um, she's excellent at making money, okay? As well as um, being an excellent caretaker. Very close to the empress, okay? So let's see. That is crossing you, though. So maybe thinking about one, we'll see. Or stepping into that energy yourself. Or there might be fears around stepping into that energy. Let's find out, shall we, Cancer? I highly doubt it, though. That's like cancer's, cancer's all over that role. We got a high priestess here at the bottom, okay? Heavy on the um, heavy on the Pisces energy here, okay? Down in the heart of your read. That's excellent, okay, if you have Pisces in your chart. Um, very in touch with, the, uh, with, with God. Okay, I now have um, a divine pair. Okay, that's like the highest um, pair in the deck in my book, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Just do it, Cancer, that's what I say. I see a fool, okay, here on the left who took a fool's leap in the past, okay, towards love. Okay, let's see how it wound up. Hmm? I will pull some clarifiers on that, Cancer, but looks like here you're in love or in a significant commitment. I have victory at the top. Valor, Leo, okay, this is a victory dance right here. That's what that puppy is. You guys look like you're doing pretty damn good here on love department, okay? What's in the near future for my cancer? The five of wands. Might be some sparring over your love life, cancer, okay? I don't know that it'll bother you, though. Not with this, not with this spread, okay? Um, and this five of wands is depicted as almost like tactical training, you know, which it can represent tactical training. And maybe you and your counterpart will have to do a little training in the love department. Nobody's perfect cancer. Okay. Um, all right. What is, what is my cancer putting out in the environment? Collaboration. This is excellent. Okay. This is reunion energy. This is collaboration here. It's actually depicted as a family. You guys might be dealing with, you might may have children. Okay. Or your love interest may have children. Right? Um, in the external environment, I got somebody coming in with you. Okay, Page of Cups. This is like a love offer. The aspects are so wonderful for love right now. <laughs> like Pisces, which trines Cancer, is like full of like excellent loving, loving stuff. And the um, it's got Neptune, it's got Venus, it's got Mars, it's got Jupiter. <laughs> and it trines your sign, all right? And um, there will actually be a positive aspect from Pluto to the uh, eclipse on the 30th. So no negative aspects from Pluto. will be supportive of uh, in the love department. Let's just say that, okay? Um, what is in the hopes and fears for my cancer? The chariot. This is you. This is your major arcana. 
It's in your hopes and your fears. You are afraid to be in your major arcana or you're afraid somebody else is going to come towards you. Love can be so scary. But so wonderful. So cancer. You're, you're like all about that stuff. So, all right. Um, what's in position 10? The sun. Are you kidding me? I thought Gemini's reading was good. Here's this excellent. I have four cups at the bottom of the deck. You may be waiting a little bit here. And I have a 10 of wands. Okay. There was a judgment call. Okay. There's some, there's some calls here that need to be made. Okay. Regarding your love life as wonderful as this is. There's some stuff that you don't see coming here. This could be representative of your partner, but I have a four of cups, 10 of wands. Okay. With it depicted as somebody walking away from something else, a judgment call with another walk away card of the eight of cups. Yeah, with a seven of wands and a wheel. I don't know who you guys are dealing with, but that's what you don't see coming. <laughs> if this didn't already tell you. <laughs> All right, let's pull some clarifiers, shall we? I'm interested to see. There's some background to this story. It looks all like amazing right here, but there's some background to this story, okay? Um, why is the hair fit here? So the high priestess is because the queen of pentacles is crossing you. Yeah, I got it. Why is the hair fine here? Marriage card, found it, significant foundation, okay? Four of wands, new home, new marriage, celebration, walking through the 11-11, all right. Why is the hair fine here? Ace of cups, you guys are head over heels for somebody. All right, why is the hair fine here? And you're, you guys are working on it. Working on mastery of it, on mastery of love. Yeah, you're working on building new foundations with a significant partner here. You're like, you got it bad here, Cancer. Okay, in a good way. And I just pulled the hair font on the high priestess. This is excellent. Excellent is um, an understatement. Um, with the Empress. Holy shit. Um, this is like the, with the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. So again, with the Taurus energy, some Libra energy here, but you're this high priestess if you're a female. It doesn't have to be, okay? Or you're very attracted to a female that's also spiritual, okay? And there was a period of introspection, which is represented by the high priestess anyways, okay? She goes back, she sees inside the veil. She doesn't have a lot of movement sometimes because she's connected. Um, and it's here with the hermit. Whatever this is, it's been, they're, they're on this, they're, everybody's on board. Let's just put it that way. Everybody's on board, okay? Um, okay. Um, why is uh, the fool here? The fool's here because of the fool. I'm not going to pull another card now on that, okay? Somebody took a fool's sleep in the past. I want more of the story because of what's on the bottom of the deck, but this looks beautiful, and when I pull as my first clarifier the same card, I don't pull another card. Funny story about when I, like, started doing tarot, <laughs> and I didn't believe it, and I would be like, this is, I don't know if I believe this, da 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 because I, I was into astrology for years before I ever did tarot, and, um, I would pull like a three card draw, you know, I'd pull a three card thing and I would, I would, I started pulling the same card as a clarifier, like the first, oh no, it's like, well that can happen. I took statistics in college, that can happen. And then it would happen again. And then it would happen on like all three cards. And then I was like, I would just like tell myself, yeah, well that can happen, you know? Anyway, Ace of Pentacles here with the Six of Wands. This is a, this is somebody's, somebody's gonna, this is crowning you right now. You wanna walk through and go after that Ace of Pentacles, okay? Or somebody, could be bringing you a gift, okay? Or buying a new house, or an engagement ring, or just saying, I have the Hierophant and the High Priestess here, okay? With the Four of Wands. I don't wanna bust your surprise, Cancer, but it could be. Um, okay. With the Page of Pentacles, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, with the, okay? Here's this, um, somebody's coming in out of the cold towards you. I know there was some breaks here because of what I'm seeing under there, but 
This is the Five of Pentacles, okay? This could be left out in the cold, but this is not depicted as whoever was left out of the cold is headed your way or you're headed their way. Um, okay, Five of Wands, why is it here? Anyways, I pulled a 12 card spread one day. I was practicing with a new spread and um, pulled a 12 card spread one day and six of the 12 cards were the same card. If there's 78 cards in a deck. Like the statistical probabilities of that are um, like nil. I mean, they're like, <laughs> they're incredible, okay? Um, and I was like, well, you could have done all 12. <laughs> and, you know, I knew at that point that like it was, it was, it was definitely more. Otherwise, I'd be in Vegas all the time if it wasn't. But, um, anyways, if I had that kind of luck normally, five of wands with the six of pentacles. Okay, so there is um, going to be, need to be in the future with this amazing relationship that you have here. So I have no doubts that you can do it, but there's gonna be some um, redistribution of the give and the take. I don't know what the problems were in the past. I got a queen of rods here, okay? That is a very charismatic individual, okay? Um, I want another one on this. Heavy on the fire sign, and I've got the two of cups here. This is about your love relationship, okay? Either you or somebody else is going to show us this queen of rods, which is she's not afraid to stick up for herself, okay? Um, and I have it here with fire energy, okay? If you have fire placements or somebody else you're dealing with has fire placements in their chart, and they are tied to um, fixed fire, which would be Leo. Um, doesn't have to be, okay? Um, you know, if you have a Venus in, Le in Leo, it, it's, you know, it plays out how it plays out, but it's it's tied to a significant love relationship that there's gonna be, there's gonna be, you guys are gonna have to, you know, get together on the give and the take here. But I see no problems with it. Or there's a redistribution of the give and the take and somebody's willing to do it. Why? Because the two of cups is here. You guys are in love, so it's gonna be done, okay? Excellent, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles I have um, with the six of cups, okay? There's some old or new soul ties here, okay? And collaboration or reunion here involving those. Okay, I want another one. I mean, it looks like whoever this is, like it's just too much spirituality. This is a spiritual connection. There's too much spirituality for it not to be a soul tie. You guys are getting on the wheel of fortune together. Yeah. This is, well, this is what you're letting off into your environment that you're ready for this. Why? Because it's a wish fulfillment for you. This is a beautiful love reading. Okay. Um, Page of Cups coming towards you. Okay, you are like letting off as an empress, so I don't know if you're gonna take no Page of Cups, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It looks like if this is a Hierophant, you're gonna take whatever because it's obviously bigger, but Page of Cups can be, um, I mean, it's, it's usually a love offer, okay, um, of some kind, and it's coming towards you. Okay, yep, you're gonna have to make a decision about it. Okay. Okay, because you're gonna have to weigh out your options, okay? Hmm. Or it could be something that you've just really fantasized about. Yeah, somebody else has been watching you or you've been watching somebody else, okay? Page of Swords is here, okay? And they may have made a decision about you, okay? And they're bringing you the Page of Cups, okay? Take it as it resonates, Cancer. Okay. Somebody's had their eye on you. You are their option. They've made a decision and they're coming towards you. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> it looks like it's a divine pair, so I'm not too worried. Okay. It doesn't, I mean, this person is not showing up like, um, you know, an out of, out of balance king of wands or anything here. Okay. Um, why is the chariot here? The world. So it's a big deal. It's a big, it's a big deal. This isn't like a one night stand. This isn't like sleeping around. Whoever this person is, Knight of Rods, this guy can be a little in and out, okay? So somebody comes in, if it's this dude or girl, okay? I say you're fine, okay? But they may come in a little hot and heavy and passionate. You might be like, they're just here for sex, but I don't think they are. This person is not, but um, you may be like a little bowled over by um, because you know if you enter the relationship or the relationship goes further that it's going to be the end of all other things. 
take it as it resonates. If you're hanging on to an ex who still sleep with cancer, probably not going to be able to do that anymore. The star is here. Um, the star is here. This is a big deal. This is wish fulfillment. This is in your hopes and your fears. You really want this. You really, really want this. Okay. It's also Aquarian energy. Okay. I have it with here with the world right after it's the sun. The uh, likely outcome is all systems go. You're in the sun. Ultimate happiness and joy in the deck. Go for it, Cancer. What, it, what, it, what are we said sitting here talking about it? I got a seven of swords with it. Shit. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Let's, let's pull another one. Um, no, it's basically the seven of swords, how it's related here. And it does like with the high priestess. Yeah. There might be something. You know. Why is this? Thing? And the, and the, again, this is like soulmate energy with the wounded warrior here. Okay. Um, whoever you're in love with might be a little bit of a maverick. You or them take it as it resonates. Okay. Um, a little bit of a stealth. I already had the page of swords here. I did not get a king of swords. I did not get like a king energy in here. I don't think at all. We had the queen of rods. Okay. We had the hierophant and the high priestess. That's the ultimate divine couple. Okay. Their marriage is going to last, um, because they have a spiritual connection, right? That surpasses everything. All right. Um, but whoever you're in love with here, either you or them. Okay. Um, I've already had Aquarian energy. They may have some Aquarius in their chart. There may be like, I don't think this is bad. I just think that you guys are going to be very, um, I mean, you're definitely a power couple, but even more than that, you're like very smart about the way you do things with your love life. Very protective over it. You guys are going to be very protective of your connection so that nobody can fuck it up. Pardon my French, but that's what this says. I don't really have anything else to say to you guys. <laughs> Jesus. I have um, Virgo energy, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the tower. Okay. You know, it's a good tower. Whatever that tower is, it's a good tower. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a Remy Oracle for you guys. Okay. Let's do one. Ah, it's gorgeous probably the prettiest love read I'll have all month for any of the signs. It's the prettiest one I've seen. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like mind blowing. Beautiful. Okay. Um, give me one for my cancer. The blessing of Zahara. Number 39. Let's check it out. Let go of thought. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek and release from suffering and pain. While thought is the cause of your suffering and pain, the realm of creation is outside the scope of thought. O oh, foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. And so are the days of our lives. No, you guys have the Wheel of Fortune over here. You guys are hopping on the wheel with somebody. And it is definitely divinely guided. And I feel like that poem, like, just emphasized the fact that, you know, there's nothing to fear with this hopes and fears over here. All the cards are freaking beautiful. It basically just shows that you're afraid that this is the one. And this is, like, the ultimate love of your life. And it's, like, scary because of how much happiness is involved in the connection, which is absolutely wonderful. So... I wish you guys the best of luck. I'm very, very happy for you. Please let me know how it goes, and I will see you for the eclipse reading. Take full advantage of that eclipse. Looks like you will.